Well, here we are, folks. We're up to north again. We're back at Mum and Tuck Dad's. And Dad has been took buying things onto eBay. So, we have a few new additions to my Dad's model collection, of which I may have had an influence in. Um, sorry, Mum. So, we have a Boeing B29 Washington, which Dad brought off eBay. Um, very nicely decaled and finished. The Washington was a lovely um, kind of addition to the REF. Um, of course, we developed the Lincoln and then we developed the Washington. I think it may have had something to do with carrying atomic bombs, but I may be wrong. So if you know uh, more about why we acquired the Washington, let me know. But my um, initial thought would be that it was for the bomb bay. Uh, the Lincoln has a very long and shallow bomb bay. Um, the um, B-29, of course, has quite a deep uh, bomb bay. Um, then the wing spar, then another bomb bay. Um, so I think that might be why. So Dad has finally got a um, REF Washington, which looks rather nice. He has also got hold of a F-35 Bravo. Um, this is, of course, the REF version. I think this is a 617 Squadron, the um, Dan Busters Squadron F-35. A very nice kit. I think that is the Airfix kit. Um, and obviously that brings his fleet air arm slash REF collection bang up to date. Um, so yeah, a nice um, kit. He brought that from someone who'd built it on eBay. Um, I don't know whether he covered this last time, but... He has also got a Sea Harrier um, FRS-2. Um, now, I have suggested to him that he takes the Sea Eagle missiles off. I don't think the Harrier would have used the Sea Eagle missiles, but he didn't want to do that, so I'll probably take the Sea Eagle missiles off. I think it was cleared for the Sea Eagles, but probably never actually flew with them. It would have probably flown with um, a fuel tank and um, just the Sidewinders or... or the AIM 120s, but yeah, he's finally got an FRS too. Also, um, my dad, like me, has an ever expanding loft, great place to hide planes. Um, and he has got his FRS 1 uh, Sea Harrier down. Again, he acquired that made. Um, and he's got a uh, Royal Navy um, training Harrier, which uh, again he acquired made. So um, I'm not sure if this is a T10 or a T8. Um, Harrier's is not my strongest forte, but there we go. Um, we've got the uh, Harrier FRS1 and the Harrier Trainer. Um, he has got a bit of a gap and some things are going to be going into that gap. Um, I'm not sure what he's got planned to fill this gap and he's renovating the Buccaneer S1. The rest of the collection is pretty much as it was last time. So that's the Fleet Air Arm stuff going uh, back in time. Now I'll try and be less shaky, but it is rather difficult. Um, what else is my dad uh, got? Well, He's brought some Starfighters off eBay, and I can't remember if we covered this last time. He's got an Avro York Transporter, which came from eBay fully built. He has got a um, Sea Venom, which he's redoing, and he is building a Bristol Super Freighter. He's got his Hercules out. So there we go, an REF early Hercules. And he has followed my advice and finally finished some of the missing gaps on this side of the collection, the REF uh, collection. So he's got a Hawk trainer. He's got a Jaguar at long last. So my dad finally has got a Jaguar. He's still got one in the loft to build, but he's managed to get that. And what else have we got that mum doesn't know about? Um, oh yeah, he's got a javelin that's been involved in a collision. So I've been given the task of repairing that for him. Um, I'm not sure whether you saw this um, sabre last time, but there's a sabre. Um, he's got his A400M down 
and um, one of those transport planes, uh, VC-10, KC-10, something like that. Um, or is it a TriStar? Uh, I'm not sure, I'll have to ask. And also, um, he's giving me this super freighter and I'm going to be converting this into a what if Malagasy, uh, Malagasy Air Force um, turbo freighter. So uh, this is going to be the basis for a turbo super freighter. So I'm going to graft on some turbo prop uh, engines onto that and then make that into a turbo super freighter. He's probably got some other um, uh, items stashed, which he doesn't want mum to know about yet. But uh, there you go. Enjoy. <laughs> 